Benztropine and trihexyphenidyl are drugs used to treat tremor and other symptoms of Parkinson's disease. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover everything you need to know about these drugs so you'll be ready come test day. I'm on a nature walk with the local park ranger trying to earn a trophy for cleaning up the park. Unfortunately, while I was swinging the trophy around to shoo away these pesky bees, I hit my trophy on the park ranger's walker, causing a bend to form in the trophy. By the way, this bent trophy is our memory anchor for the drug benztropine, because bent trophy sounds a lot like benztropine, don't you think? There's another drug name that is related to benztropine you should know. Let's cover that next. Now I see where all those bees are coming from. Take a look at those three hexagon-shaped honeycombs. Three hexagons, or trihex pattern, if you will. This trihex pattern should remind you of the drug trihexyphenidyl. Trihexyphenidyl is the second drug we'll be covering in this video. Both benztropine and trihexyphenidyl work similarly and have the same side effects because they're in the same drug class. Let's move on to learn what drug class this is. If you're curious to learn how exactly I earned this trophy, just take a look at this bag I'm holding with a few broken empty cola bottles inside. I was helping the park ranger collect the empty cola bottles that people litter along the trail. Here at Pixarize, we use cola to symbolize choline or acetylcholine. You could even call it acetylcola if you want. So the empty broken cola bottles here should represent anticholinergics. That's right, benztropine and trihexyphenidyl are anticholinergic medications that work to block the action of acetylcholine in the brain. So when might this be useful clinically? After many years here, the park ranger requires a walker to get around in his ripe older years. Notice how the walker is rattling still after I hit it with my trophy. Well, the park ranger can help you remember that benztropine and trihexyphenidyl are used to treat Parkinson's disease. You know, park ranger for Parkinson's disease. And in case you forget, this park ranger is walking slowly and using a very shaky walker, which represents the slow gait and tremor seen in Parkinson's disease. Benztropine or trihexyphenidyl are primarily used to treat the tremor and gait in stability in Parkinson disease, providing a symptomatic improvement in these patients. While these medications don't cure the disease, they can provide symptomatic relief to patients. In addition to Parkinson's disease, these medications can also treat drug-induced Parkinsonism, which are side effects of certain drugs that cause tremors and slow gait resembling Parkinson's disease. Let's talk more about this next. I think I might be in luck. Even though I bent this trophy, the park ranger just got an EPS delivery of more trophies. When you think about this EPS delivery package, I want you to also remember that benztropine and trihexyphenidyl can be used to treat EPS, or extrapyramidal symptoms. This includes a variety of symptoms seen after taking certain drugs, especially antipsychotic medications. We've already talked about how Parkinsonism is a type of EPS, but other symptoms to know include dystonia, akinesia, and tardive dyskinesia. If these terms don't sound familiar, check out our dedicated video on EPS to learn more. It might be obvious, but before we wrap up, it's worth noting that as anticholinergic medications, benztropine and trihexyphenidyl can cause a slew of anticholinergic side effects. These include things like constipation, tachycardia, urinary retention, dry mouth, and so on. Like with EPS, we also have a dedicated video to help you remember all the anticholinergic side effects. Check it out sometime. Alright, that's all for this video on benztropine and trihexyphenidyl. Let's review what we've learned. Benztropine and trihexyphenidyl are anticholinergic medications. Clinically, these drugs are used to treat the symptoms of Parkinson's disease and are also used to treat extrapyramidal symptoms or EPS, especially drug-induced Parkinsonism. As anticholinergic drugs, these medications cause anticholinergic side effects like constipation, tachycardia, urinary retention, dry mouth, and so on. I'll stick with the park ranger and his walker. You go on up ahead. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.